Hello, today is, let's see, it's Tuesday, uh, March 12th. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think, I know I forgot yesterday, but I think maybe I forgot the day before, too. Um, yeah, today's the 12th, so just one day, because I did do it Sunday. Okay, wow. I got so caught up in political stuff and, and distracted so much that I utterly forgot to be daily in the Word for the first time this year. I guess it's going to happen sooner or later. So I'm on to catch up. I hate to say those words. Uh, Joshua uh, 10 through 12 is yesterday, and then 13 through 15 is today. So five chapters in Joshua to get caught up. And Now it came to and for the altar of the Lord, even unto this day, in the place which he should choose. Okay, so this is Joshua, chapter 10. Chapter 10. Now it came to pass when Adonai, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, as one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai, and all the men thereof were mighty. Wherefore Adonai, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piram, king of Jarmuth, and unto Jephakish, and unto Deber, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it hath made peace with Joshua, and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp to Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from thy servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us, for all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that go up to Beth Horon, and smote them to Ezekah, and unto Makeda. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were in the going down to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Ezekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and... That's probably one of the, the most incredible uh, miracles in all the Bible, I think. It says, uh, Sun, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still. So yeah, the Bible is saying the t time stopped because Joshua prayed that the sun st stood still. And you, a lot of people say, well, you know, if that happened, you know, gravity and everything and blah, 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 all the things of nature would be affected. You know, it's just so utterly, insanely crazy and impossible. But, you know, just that's how big God is. That 
the sun can stand still, which means, I guess, the earth stops spinning on its axis. Which isn't just, you know, <laughs> how, how did gravity keep going? Or... I guess I think of the, the since the Earth is turning that um, that's how uh, people that's how gravity. I didn't even know the the laws of physics and science and all that. It's just I had to stop and incredible. It's just incredible. And the sun and and the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still. There it is again. It says it again. In the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. So there's two miracles in this battle. It says um, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them, and and I don't know what that word is, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones. Then the children of Israel slew with the sword. So God gave them a great deliverance upon. There was five kings. Five kings of people that come out against the nation Israel and uh, their servants. Uh, so it was a great victory that day. Mind boggling what God can do. Great is our God. Not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned and all Israel with him unto the camp to Gilgal. But these five kings fled and hid themselves in a cave at Makeda. And it was told Joshua saying, The five kings are found hid in the cave at Makeda. And Joshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set men by it for to keep them. And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies, and smite the hindmost of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God hath delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass, when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter till they were consumed, that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities. And all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makeda in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. Then said Joshua, Open the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said unto the captains of the men of war which went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near, and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed, be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward Joshua smote them and slew them and hanged them on five trees, and they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the trees and cast them into the cave wherein they had been hid and laid great stones in the cave's mouth which remain until this very day. 
And that day Joshua took Makeda and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof he utterly destroyed, them and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain. And he did to the king of Makeda as he did unto the king of Jericho. Then Joshua passed from Makeda and all Israel with him unto Libna, and fought against Libna. And the Lord delivered it also, and the king thereof into the hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof, as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Libna, and all Israel with him unto Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel, which took it on the second day and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, the king of Gezer, came up to help Lachish, and Joshua smote him and his people, until he had left him none remaining. And from Lachish Joshua passed unto Eglon, and all Israel with him, and they encamped against it, and fought against it. And they took it on that day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. And Joshua went up from Eglon, and all Israel with him unto Hebron, and they fought against it. And they took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, to Deber, and fought against it. And he took it, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Deber, and to the king thereof, as he had done also to Libna, and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And Joshua smote them, from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Gibeon. And all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. Joshua chapter 11. And it came to pass when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Maidan, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Akshath, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Kinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west, and to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mizpah. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Miram to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. Thou shalt hawk their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came and all the people of war with him against them by the waters of Miram suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto Misrephoth Maim, and unto the valley of Mizpah eastward. And they smote them until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He hawked their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burnt Hazor with fire. 
And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only. That did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same, even from the Mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, even unto Baalgad, and the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Deber, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel. Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod there remained. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Joshua chapter 12. Now these are the kings of the land which the children of Israel smote, and possessed their land on the other side Jordan toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Aror, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. And from the plain to the sea of Kinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshemoth, and from the south, under Ashdoth Pisgah. And the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants, that dwelt at Ashtaroth, and at Edrei, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salca, and in all Bashan, under the border of the Geshurites, and the Maacathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan on the west, from Baalgad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions. In the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jarmuth, one. The king of Lachish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Gezer, one. The king of Deber, one. The king of Geder, one. The king of Hormah, one. The king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tepua, one. The king of Hefer, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lasharon, one. The king of Maiden, one. The king of Hazor, one. The king of Shimron Miron, one. The king of Aksaph, one. The king of Tanak, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kedesh, one.
the king of Jotnium of Carmel, one. The king of Dor and the coast of Dor, one. The king of the nations of Gilgal, one. The king of Tirzah, one. All the kings, thirty and one. Joshua, chapter 13. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth. All the borders of the Philistines, and all Geshurai, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, and the Ashtothites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Miara, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, toward the sunrising, from Baalgad, under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon, unto Misraph of Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites, for an inheritance as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. With whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them from a roar that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medaba unto Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon under the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites, and Maacathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Salka, all the kingdom of Og and Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Edrei, who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites nor the Maacathites, but the Geshurites and the Maacathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aror that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Medeba. Heshbon and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon and Bamoth Baal, and Beth Baal Mia, and Jehazah, and Kedemoth, and Mephaath, and Kirjathaim, and Sibma, and Zareth Shehar in the Mount of the Valley, and Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Recham, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon dwelling in the country. Balaam, also the son of Beor the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon unto Aror, that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon unto Ramoth Mizpah, and Bedanon, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Deber, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Kinneroth, on the other side Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, threescore cities. 
and half Gilead and Ashtaroth and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Maker, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Maker by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Joshua chapter 14 And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded, by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and half-tribe on the other side Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be, the Lord will be with me. Then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin, southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side, to Mealia Kravim, and passed along to Zin, and descended up on the south side under Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Ader, and fetched a compass to Karkia. From thence it passed toward Asma, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Hogla, and passed along by the north of Beth Arba, and the border went up to the stone of Boham, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Deber, from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adunim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, under the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. 
and the border was drawn from the top of the hill under the fountain of the water of Natofa, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephraim, and the border was drawn to Baala, which is kirjath Jearim. And the border compassed from Baala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along under the side of Mount Jearim, which is Kesselon on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out under the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Baala, and went out unto Jabneel. And the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shishai and Ahiman and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Deber, and the name of Deber before was kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth kirjath Sefer and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she lighted off her ass. And Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kabzeel and Eder and Jager, and Kina and Demona and Adada, and Kedish and Hazor and Ithman, Ziph and Telam and Bealoth, and Hazor, Hadada, and Kiroth, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam and Shema and Molada, and Hazer Gada and Heshman and Beth Pelet, and Hazer Shul and Beersheba, and Bizjothja, Where am I and at? Bela, and Iam, and Azam, and Eltolad, and Kiso, and Oma, are. and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Lebeoth, and Shilhim, and Aim, and Rimmon. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtael, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zenoa, and Enganim, Tapua, and Enam. Jarmuth, and Adullam, Soko, and Azekah, and Shareim, and Adathaim, and Gidera, and Gidarathaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenon, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Dalian, and Mizpah, and Jokthiel, Lachish, and Bozkath, and Eglon, and Cabin, and Lamam, and Kithlish, and Gidaroth, Bethdagon, and Naamah, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nizib, and Keilah, and Axib, and Marisha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns whoops. and her villages, whoops, 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 from whoops. Ekron even under the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Geza, with her towns and her villages, under the river of Egypt and the great sea and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shamer and Jatter and Soko, and Dana and kirjath Sana, which is Deber, and Anab and Eshtimo and Anim, and Goshen 